the handheld you would think would not have the image quality of the bigger devices, but it does. It's every bit as good as any of the devices that I've seen that are on a cart that cost 10 times more. I'm Dr. Mark Salzman. I'm a board certified plastic surgeon from Louisville, Kentucky. Although I've transitioned now into a private practice in Sarasota, Florida uh, during the last year, I've been doing primarily cosmetic plastic surgery for the past uh, 33 years. Clarius has really made a big difference in how we practice plastic surgery, at least for me. I started out purchasing a very large uh, tabletop type uh, ultrasound device probably seven, eight years ago, maybe nine years ago now. When the handheld devices came out, I, I was really intrigued because my machine was kind of breaking at the time and it needed uh, some things that were costing a fair amount of money. Uh, and that machine was like $40,000 when I first bought it. So when the first handheld devices came out that were in the sub $5,000 range, it was like a godsend. So I started using the Clarius device because I had tried all these different devices that were out there. The image quality was so much better than what I was even used to seeing on my tabletop version. Interoperatively, I think it's important to use ultrasound when you're doing BBL fat grafting. If you put the fat into the muscle or below the muscle, you're getting it close to some very large veins that can then, by negative pressure, take up that fat and end up with a deadly scenario of pulmonary emboli. And so it's mandated, in where I practice now in Florida, that the fat be placed only in the subcutaneous uh, tissue layer. And the only way to really know that is when you're using ultrasound. Similarly, it's nice to do breast fat grafting under ultrasound to see that you're keeping it between the capsule and the skin so you're not getting into a big dead space and the periprosthetic space around a, a brand new breast implant. If you're doing targeted fat grafting for high definition, like for the abdomen, you wanna accentuate the positive, as I call them, uh, for the six pack, you can take your ultrasound device and under direct ultrasound vision, see that the fat's going into the muscle safely. You're not going intraperitoneally. And so that's a nice adjunct for adding safety. I look at every patient that comes in with breast implants with the Clarius device. The FDA first made this recommendation, do it only with MRI at year three and every two years after that. And they've since acquiesced based on a lot of data that we've given them that ultrasound is really just as good at, at surveillance. I think as a first use, people should start looking at all of their patients, whether they're a week out, a month out, six months out, so you get as many normals in there as possible. So when you do see the one that looks totally crazy, you go, well, this looks totally unlike anything I've ever seen. We hardly ever send patients for an MRI. And what I'll tell the patient is I'm 99% confident that what I see is it that's broken. If you wanna be 100% confident, the only way to know that is to operate. I always recommend Clarius Ultrasound to people who ask me. Uh, I've tried all the other ones and it just shines above the others. It, I like the wireless component to it. I like the choices of the three different models. I like the form factor. I like the fact that it's updated constantly. Uh, I haven't, knock wood, seen one break yet or, or not be usable. So I have nothing but positives to say and I've used all of the other ones, because for our national meetings, since I'm in charge, I have to invite the different manufacturers and then you know, use those different devices. And they're a little bit more cumbersome. The image quality is not as good. The wireless system comes into play more for an interoperative use. So you're not tethered, you don't have to put that big condom on there. You don't have a physical limitation as to where the video screen is gonna be, be it an iPad or an iPhone. It can be anywhere, it can be moved on the fly, so your head's not on a swivel. Definitely a, a better way to go uh, wireless. 